Hey everybody, I'm back with another video, Remote Money with Ryan, all right? This is a channel where I show you how to find opportunities for remote jobs to get you location independence and freedom from geographical restrictions, okay? We want you to be able to work in multiple time zones, not at a physical location every morning, commuting to work, driving in the car. No, you don't. You want to spend more time with your family. You want to spend more time doing what you want to do, all right? And remote work allows you to have a freedom and freer type of lifestyle. So I'm going to show you an opportunity today at a company called Canonical, all right? Now, mind you, I do not know too much about open source and what those type of platforms or softwares do, but I know that this company wants to make open source as um, available as possible across the internet. I know they work with uh, Linux software um, and that operating system. Um, they favor OpenStack for cloud computing and other things. And so if you're gonna apply for this job, you gotta do a lot more than just watch this video, okay? You gotta do your own background research and learn a little bit about the company in case you get an interview, all right? That's my best advice. Um, you can click here, read some of their blogs, go through their press and other projects and that sort of thing. Go through some of their products and their partners, okay? But today we're concerned about the careers page, okay? So at Canonical right now, they are hiring a junior customer success manager. And as you can see here at Canonical, it's home-based worldwide, okay? It's home-based worldwide. And what is the role of the junior customer success manager? It's a new and strategic department. So completely new department, which is great. Great opportunity to kind of set the tone there and put your stamp on this new opportunity. All right, so we find you new opportunities here. You get to facilitate the adoption of new products, all right? So it sounds like you gotta try out new products and get people to follow it and adopt it and use it. And services and support expansion within existing accounts. So you're not really, um, seems like you're working with existing customers, which is, which is great. Customer success managers are responsible for developing trust with their assigned customers and committing to providing them with the best possible experience navigating Canonical's vast offering, all right? So learn, again, like I said, background research, learn about what their vast offering is. Through a clear understanding of the customer's objectives, the CSM can activate a large range of internal and external capabilities to alleviate any pain point, align expectations, as well as the help draw and deliver an appropriate or on an appropriate collaboration roadmap. I don't know what that means, but again, you want to go through this a little bit more detailed, all right? Spend some time with it. They're growing their customer success team. They're going to offer smart, thoughtful, precise interactions across all their product portfolio. Again, do your background about their product portfolio. Um, from Ubuntu, as I mentioned, to open source infrastructure and applications, all right? Ubuntu with the Linux operating system. So this role is a first step in the CSM organization. So yeah, they're hiring a manager and then presumably you'll have some people working with you, so maybe hiring some coordinators or other staff. You're gonna focus primarily on the tech segment, including the store customers. Uh, you will have the portfolio assigned. Ubuntu is chosen by thousands of new users every month. This is our responsibility to ensure the best user experience, all right? So customer success manager, you're dealing with customers, existing clients, problem solving, onboarding, enablement, value realization, right? Telling them the value of the, the software and kind of selling Canonical's products. And this role is, like I said, remotely worldwide, which we love here at Remote Money. What your day looks like, you're going to support customers. You're going to find solutions to ticket requests. So you're going to deal with ticketing, all right? You're going to enrich documentation about problem solving, Q&A, onboarding materials. So by enrich documentation, that sounds like you're going to be writing. I don't know why they wrote it like that, but it sounds like you're going to do some writing. You're going to drive campaigns targeting multiple customers through digital touch points and activities. So maybe some social media there with the digital touch points or maybe their own software. But you're going to drive campaigns that target multiple customers. You're going to identify high potential as well as high risk 
customers from newly onboarded users or customers onboard new customers, introduce them to the products and support process. Products include, so take notes here, Ubuntu Pro, MAAS, Landscape OpenStack, Ceph, Kubernetes, I don't know any of these data apps and many more. Um, collaborate with sales and support in developing and delivering engagement plans that fulfill the customer's objectives. All right, so you're going to engage with customers and meet their needs. You're going to engage with your portfolio of customers to ensure risk identification, all right, so you don't lose them. But really what you need to be is customer-facing, empathetic, right, natural drive to help others. You want to help people. You want to support. You have a passion for technology with all the nuances and and some of the to me foreign concepts here <laughs> right in tech if you don't have that tech background you got to do your research on like i said ubuntu mas landscape openstack learn what those are those buzzwords okay if you have an, another language a second language that's that can be helpful as well because again it's a global job and i'm sure their customers are worldwide you have great presentation skills Strong organization skills, all right? These are the things that matter. Probably the first three, I, I like to say the first three bullet points are the most important in any job description. Customer-facing experience, right? Do you have retail experience or some sort of tech support experience? Um, but again, their requirements are not highly technical here, as you can see, and they aren't asking for a specific number of years of experience so it's open and we love jobs like these again it's a junior role but still we love opportunities like these because it's easy access into the industry or easy access into the job so you're a team player you have a ton of soft skills organization skills all right and uh, you able to constantly update documentation so you're organized all right guys that's about it um Oh, quickly, what they offer you and uh, what the salary is. Okay, just real quick. Uh, they consider geographical location, experience, and performance, all right, in determining your compensation. So they're not they're not committing to an amount here, but I'll show you in a second um, what they might pay. Um, they meet twice a year. So they revisit your compensation annually. They and more often for graduates and associates, all right, to ensure that they recognize outstanding performance in addition to base pay. They offer an annual uh, performance driven bonus, which is great. Everyone loves a bonus at Christmas time. Um, you get a personal learning and development budget of $2,000 per year. So that's if you want to take any courses. You get a um, twice yearly uh, meetups or team sprints is what they call it in person. So you got to actually meet some of the people you work with. <laughs> Compensation review, which I said, holiday leave if you need it, maternity, paternity leave, employee assistance program, excuse me, for your mental health, um, opportunity to travel to new locations, priority pass for travel. And just quickly, um, they haven't published how much this position pays. Um, but sorry, real quick. About Canonical, it's a pioneering tech firm at the forefront of the global movement to open source. Um, so, yeah, not storing information on private servers, but keeping everything open, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Ubuntu is one of the most important open source projects and the platform for AI, IoT, and the cloud. They're changing the world on a daily basis. They recruit on a global basis and set a very high standard for people joining the company. They expect excellence in order to succeed. They need to be the best at what they do. They've been a remote first company since 2004. Um, it's a step into the future. They'll challenge you to think differently. And uh, they provide a unique window into the world of 21st century digital business. They're equal opportunity employer. You can apply with LinkedIn. Your name, information, resume, your school degree, they're actually asking for a degree in discipline so they know your background. Why is customer success important? So there's a questionnaire here. Which relevant skills do you think you've developed and how? So you want to link that back to the skills, the soft skills that we went through. Um, what was your bachelor university degree result or expected result if you have not graduated? 
So is it out of 100? Actually, this is one of the few um, employers asking for your GPA and uh, degree information, specific degree information. So um, universities around the world score degrees in different ways. So indicate your result and GPA. Okay. Um, how did you do at math? Wow. <laughs> Let's see what the drop downs are here. Top 10, 5, 5, 10, 20, 50. Top student at the school. So how were you at math? How was your SAT or ACT or matriculation results? What time zone are you in? Okay, they want to know if you're in American time zones. So Eastern, Pacific. Asia Pacific time zones or Europe, Middle East, Africa. Um, yeah, this is pretty detailed here. You don't have to do the voluntary um, disclosures, but uh, yeah, go through that. It's pretty. It's pretty long, but it, it. I've seen longer. It won't take too long, I don't think. And uh, just quickly, how much do they pay? Let me just do a quick search and show. All right, guys, so quickly, when we go to look up the salaries here, see how much they pay at Canonical. Um, it doesn't show this particular customer uh, support manager um, title, but I'd say something comparable, because it's a junior role, the sales development re representative salary range, 70 to 100, seems to fit this particular position. So. Um, that's my guess. I would say for this customer success manager, you're looking at 70 to 100,000 per year in US dollars, all right? So thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helps. Wishing, wishing you all the best to getting your remote career started or advanced. And uh, good luck, God bless, and get remote money.